Good morning. I'm out here on the porch. It's a beautiful day. It's nice. There's a nice breeze. I'm at Rachel's house. So I was thinking I really wanted to um, share some artwork with you and do some artwork because I've got it going on in my mind and everything. And I thought maybe you might like to do a llama. I don't know anything about llama, but we'll find out, right? Okay. So um, let me show you what I've been doing. I, last night I worked on this a little bit and I know my students know about Starry Night and Vincent Van Gogh paintings. So I did this little shoe um, last night of a starry night. You can see all the, the cross lines, all the hatching lines and the bright colors and the, the mood that it's setting with the, the starry night. It's playing like music on there. And then on the back of it says, on that starry night, he saved my life. Because I always think about those starry nights and how beautiful they are. And um, just reminds me of the greatness and the beauty of nature and all. So that's what I've been doing a little bit. And so I wanted to drive right in here. We'll start with something really simple, the llama. And then we have my daughter help me on this. So I'm gonna give her a lesson. You wanna get your... Okay, so what I'll do here is I'm gonna draw this out first. And uh, it's just some simple lines. And I then I need you can draw there. also. Well, where's your marker at? I need a marker. You need a marker. Brown. I thought that was black. Well, you want a purple? Sure. All right. Okay. So we're gonna start with the eye. So we just draw a little circle here with the eyeball. And we can color this in later so we don't have to worry too much about it right now. But. So we have a circle and inside that circle, we're gonna make another little circle and that's gonna be your highlight there. Okay. Huh. Just one, one big circle and then there you go. Good, that's great. And you can color that little bit in there if you want. Okay, now we're gonna go from the forehead and it's gonna be something like a, a big long U. So. And then we got that. You right there. Everybody see that, hopefully? All right, good. All right, now the nose. I think nose. mine's gonna look like a Jayhawk, not a Of long. course. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do this little tiny little U for your nose here. So cute already. And then we're just gonna bring that little line down for the mouth there. Now we're gonna just curve it up just a little bit because we want it to have a little smile, okay? Now these llamas look like little cotton balls all <laughs> over the body. So we're gonna just make little curly cues up here. Kind of like it's just wearing a little cloud on its head. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. And then it's gonna go right around the edge down here on this little chin. Little curly cues. That's one of the elements of line is all those squiggly lines, straight lines, diagonal lines, vertical lines, curly cue lines. Curly cue lines. Yes, little curving. back up here to the, the head area and we're gonna go on down here. We're gonna make a little ear. Okay, there's your first little ear, there. And you probably want to have two ears, so we'll just go ahead and make another one right there. So cute. And these llamas have little Long necks. Little long necks. Little long necks. Little long necks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think they're kind of heavy set and thin too at the same time. Right. Now, is this uh, the character on Napoleon Dynamite? I think it what is. What was his name? Tina or what was his? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, yeah, this is Tina from oh, so Napoleon cute. Dynamite. All right. Now we're going to go up to the chest area. Kind of go like this a little bit. A little 
Squiggly, squigglies. <laughs> and then we're gonna go on the back. Coming along really nice. Everybody doing all right with your llama? We're just having a happy time. We're just exploring, exploring art. And your llama will be different than mine and everyone's will be different. That's the neat thing about art. It's all individual. Expression. What are we doing with those legs? Okay, we've got the legs coming out there. This is the chest area. Now we're going with the first leg. How are we doing over there? Mine looks like it's on its last leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yours is just awesome. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen you sit down and draw for a little bit, but that's just what we need today. I usually draw with a computer. I know. <laughs> and a lot of other things with your computer. Okay, so we're going to get that back leg and it's going to overlap this first leg. So you can see this, this is a little bit in the back. That's the name of that leg? Little bit? Little bit. <laughs> little bit backy on your... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alrighty now. Now here's the belly. Those, those llamas are odd shaped little creatures. We oh, could make it. Let's make I it a girl a, um, a llama, 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 and make give her some eyelashes. Okay. Yeah. There. Prettier up a little bit. My llama got needs to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> well, I'll take it with me today then. Okay, now we're going to do the little hip area. One thing I really like is the hip areas. Want to ask me why? Okay. Of the llama? Of the llama. <laughs> like when you eat? <laughs> okay, now here we go with this back leg. And we're gonna bring that on down just like this. It's just going really this swiggly swiggly and then up, back up and then we're gonna make that little hoof there. Okay, this this leg in the back is obviously we're gonna have a four-legged llama, as most of them are that I know of. And then we're gonna make that back back leg come. I know you all are wanting to do some artwork and just ready to go, so we'll have this simple lesson today and then we'll have some more coming your way. How's that sound? I have a little poofy tail back here on the rear end. Okay, now I know some of you really like the you know, oh, llama corn. Llama corn. So we're going to make this a llama corn, okay? It's a llama corn. It's like a unicorn, but it's llama. Oh, llama corn. Llama, llama llama okay so look up here cloud. at the head we're gonna put just this little this is going to be what we've some of us known as a cone head or you could say a llama llama corn head <laughs> i don't know or we could not say it okay so i think it's cute how about we add a little wings on there because it's like an angel llama is corn. it because I thought Lama it was a corn angel? Thought it was corn. corn. Like a, like. Why do you say corn when it should be horn? <laughs> a a unicorn. Okay. A unicorn. A llama horn. Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna just draw. Okay. Sometimes when we've been in for a while, we need to get outside and get some fresh air and do a little artwork. That's all I'm saying. I hope everyone's having a good day because I'm having a wonderful day. How about you, Rachel? Wonderful. Yeah. So wonderful. then can I just sign this because it's probably going to be worth some money now. Yeah, it'll be worth, uh, who knows. <laughs> With what I'm looking at, I don't know how much that's going to be worth, but I think I'd put those little angel wings on there. Uh, and then you want to sign it. The angel wings just don't seem like... Like you? No, they don't seem like me. Or okay, so. now you can just... Use your own expression. We can have down here, if you want to have some grass down here. And then maybe this llama is 
there might be like a sunshine behind a rainbow um, just stars just whatever you want to do with your own llama just to make it just awesome um, well I'm I'm really looking forward to see some of your artwork I can color this in uh, what do I have I have some well I got color crowns but let's see what I got Cherokee Nation color pencils That'll work. But if I have the right colors, the only thing. Are okay, so I have colors? a I have a little tan color. So we're gonna do, we'll have the face and uh, this tan color of color pencil. If you have color pencils, you know that you can layer with different colors. That's the fun part about it. Okay, so I added to mine, mom. A basketball llama. Wow. Jayhawk llama. Mm hmm. Llama corn angel. <laughs> Not a llama corn angel. <laughs> okay. So Rachel added um, a basketball goalpost and everything on hers because she has basketball um, like in her heart. She's got a big basketball in her heart. <laughs> And I, that's what I love about her. You never know. All right, I need some other color pencils. Do you think I'll um, lose business for my graphic design by people seeing me? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not even a question here. Say, just say, okay, just try to draw that mama and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think that's basically the only colors I have I can use. Well, I can I can make like a, the wing, I can color the wing in a little bit, bright colors. Bright colors would be nice. I know y'all like bright colors, red and yellow and orange, some warm colors. We'll warm it up a little bit. If anybody say, would like to purchase this llama, well, what for one to what, go on their what refrigerator? What fundraiser are we? Okay, <laughs> here's our llamas for today, and I want to see your llamas. Mom, I can't see your llama. Oh, okay, you see it? No. Well, if you don't, there's mom's llama. There we go. Oh, right, and mine. You can purchase my llama, and I'm talking to Sheriff Ferris, Lore Holy Cross. Holly McMahon, Mindy Arthurton, I'm expecting one of you to buy this from me and put it on your fridge. And then you want to auction it off? I I want them to get in a bidding war, yes. But you do your thing, Mom. You want to tell your students bye and bye. See you next time for art lessons and that will be tomorrow.